Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new session of online lesson. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we're going to look at logic gates part 2, logic circuit truth table. Logic circuit truth table, firstly we need to know how to derive the number of outputs from the number of inputs in a logic diagram. To do so, we make use of a simple equation which is s equal to 2 power n, whereby s is the number of output and n is the number of input. Meaning, if in our diagram we have one input, then we are going to have two outputs in our truth table. If we have two inputs, we are going to have four outputs. If we have three inputs, we are going to have eight outputs. The number of input normally are given to you in the exams. The truth table, the part where you have the input is already given to you in the exams. Let us look at an example of how to derive the truth table of the following logic diagram. Example 1, so we have a single input. With a single input, meaning that we are going to have only two outputs for P. And as you can see, the value of A is being uh, doubled. We have the same value going through the input of this NAND gate. So as we said earlier, for one input, we're going to have two different outputs. And what are the values of these different outputs? It will be for 0, 0 and 1, 1. For the first one, the result for P will be 0 times 0, 0, and we're going to inverse it to get 1. And for the second one, we're going to multiply 1 and 1, 1, we're going to inverse it to get 0. Example 2. So here we have a NAND gate with two inputs. So as we mentioned earlier, with two inputs, we're going to have four different outputs. So the value of this NAND N gate, sorry, the N gate is has already been given to you in our previous lesson in logic gate part one. So the answer will be straight 0001. So how we got it, we, we have to multiply these two values, 0 times 0 gets 0, 0 times 1, 0, 1 times 0, 0, 1 times 1, 1. This is how we get the value for this logic diagram. Example number 3. So here we have a bit more complex logic diagram. We have two inputs again, A and B. We have a OR gate. And we have a NOT gate between the input of B and the OR gate. So when you have a diagram like this, you need to focus on what are the different inputs in a particular gate. So here, the first one, we have the value of A going in the OR gate. And for the second input, it's a B going through a NOT gate, then going to the OR gate. So how do we get the output for this particular diagram? We have to get this value of B naught first. B naught, this will be not B. So we are, it's the inverse of an input. So the input has already been given to you. So value of B is 0 becomes 1. From 1 becomes 0, 0, 1, and 1 becomes 0. Once we have obtained this value of 1, it's easy to get the value of P because we have to A or this value of 1. 1 or A. So this value, we have to add it with the value of A. So 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 1, 1. And 1 plus 0, 1. So the value of P will become this value of 1, 0, 1, 1. Example number 4 now. So in this example, we have three inputs. This is the first time that you're working with a free input example. So in three inputs, we are going to have eight different outputs. Now, the truth table, the, the, the part where you have the input, normally is given to you in the exam and is as follows. So you have eight different values for A, eight different values for B, and eight different values for C and each one is a specific combination for this logic diagram. So here we have a very simple diagram where we have to find the value of A and B 
and the output of this become the input of this OR gate and this OR gate second input is the value of C. So how to work it? We have to find this value of A and B first. So how to find the A value of A and B? We have to multiply the values of A and B. So 0 times 0 is 0 and so on. Uh, where we have in 1 times 1 in the last two rows. And this value that we have obtained, A and B, this is going to be all with the value of C to get the value of B. So C or 1. So we are going to add this value and C in order to get the value of B. So 0 plus 0 is 0, uh, 1 plus 0 is 1, and so on. And as you can see, the value of P becomes 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Last example, example number five. So here we have a bit more complex uh, logic diagram. We have several gates for which we need to find the output first before we get the output, the final output of P. So again, the value of the inputs will be given to you. This table, A, B, and C, normally will be given to you. So what we're going to look first, we're going to look at finding this value of not B. So not B is the inverse of its input. Secondly, we are going to find the value of this OR gate. So A and the value of 1. So A or the value of 1. So we're going to add the value of A and the value of this column. Next, we're going to find the value of not C. So not C will be the inverse of the value of C. So not C. And lastly, the value of P will be obtained by using the value of 2, nor the value of 3. 2, nor 3. So these two columns, we have to know them to get the value of P. And how do we know? We need to add an inverse. So we add 1 plus 1 is 1. And the inverse becomes 0. The value of P will be the same as this value, 4. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you have liked the video, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and leave a comment on how the channel can be improved. Until then, see you next time.